Alexander Frostmourne had a story to tell us. Basically, he's concerned about his godson. He says, my godson is of the Cochrane clan, while I'm a, a Macmillan. I want him to know he is fully welcome in my family. He's a young lad, and he's currently feeling disconnected from both my clan and his own clan, from a heritage standpoint. Is it wrong for me, and this is the technical side of the question, is it wrong for me to take the Cochrane tartan and my tartan and put them together into one kilt for him? Kind of a half and half project. But the reason for all this is the poor lad is in a rough position. He's feeling a lack of connection within, within his family, and he wants to join the Macmillan clan. But he doesn't know that it's not something you can just change, like changing a sports team. So he's worried about his godson. <coughs> Sounds like his godson needs yeah. some emotional support, and he's trying to do him a solid. And Okay, yeah. there's a lot to unpack there. Um, one, I would not do a... I'm, I'm assuming he's like a part-part kilt. I wouldn't do like a half-and-half half kilt, like half cock and half Macmillan. No, hard miss. Um, the maybe, if you wanted to design his own tartan for him or have him design it and combine elements of both, might work. Um, the and the part I will kind of disagree with is the it's not like changing a sports team. You can't just, you know, go to someone else's. You, you can and you can't. Um, if you're... In, in Scotland, if your father was a bastard and you don't like the man and he abandoned your family and you want to wear your mother's tartan, no one is going to stop you from, you know, claiming your mother's clan and joining her clan or or just wearing the kilt. They wouldn't necessarily join a clan. Um, so I would say that it's it's not it's not like joining a sports team or changing a sports team, but it's not not like it. Mm -hmm. um, here's where I would honestly go with it. Um you love your godson. He has some kind of difficulties where he feels alienated or, or, or removed from his parents or there's something, something is there, but you want to show him that you support him, that you care about him, that you love him, and that you got his back. Here's what I would actually do is <clears throat> I would get him measured. I would tell him that you, you want to get a kilt for him in the McMillan Tartan. I would start there. I'd kind of be open and honest about it and measure him up. Then I would write him a letter. Not an email, not a, I would write him a physical letter. Mm -hmm. And I would say, I would literally lay it on the table and say, like, all, get all the feels out there and say, this is what you mean to me. This is who you are as a person. This is who I am. This is how much I love you. This is how much I care about you. I would put it all on paper and I would get the kilt and the letter and I would personally give it to him and I would let him read it <clears throat> and I would let him know how much he means to me. It doesn't matter whether you're 40 years old and he's 20 or you're 90 years old and about to pass. He will have that letter and that kilt for the rest of his life. And anytime he questions who he is, he questions who cares about him, he questions if it's all worth it or you know who cares, whatever. He can read that letter, he can wear that kilt, and he can know that you care about him and that he is part of your family and that he is worth something to someone and that someone gives a damn. So that's what I would do. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm not trying to joke, actually. That is that's that is solid. That is solid yeah. advice. Yeah, you don't have to do anything hokey or cheesy or a craft project to do this. It's about communication. Some people, Bottom line. So. Some people don't have a family support structure. Um, and right. some people have to choose their family. Through, through want or through need, they have to choose their family. Um, and if you are that to this young man, then let it be known. Period. Right on. Yeah, got real deep in here real quick. No, that's good. That's yeah. good. That's I like it when we can do something that feels like we're doing some kind of good. Yeah, so. it's it's going to make a difference in his life now and forever. So do that. Give him that. Yep. He deserves it. Yep. Yeah. 
Mr. Ian. A lot of comments here uh, reflecting lumps in throats or tears in eyes as a response to your uh, <laughs> to your answer there. Dude, uh, I tear so. up at weird stuff. I was almost tearing up <laughs> there I myself. Think, I was too. It's not that weird. That's not weird. That's human. Okay. I'm not human. You're My right. wife does not believe that I am human. Now you're just a capitalist pig. <laughs> Um, that brings a tear to my eyes. No, it's about it's about <laughs> Thank family. You. It's about family. It really is. Yeah. Bottom line. Yeah, Bottom chosen line. or not, it's about the caring about the people who care about you. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that's family. If it's not, you make it. Found family. Yep. Who knew that clothing could actually be emotional sometimes? Um, what do you guys think? My little speech there was I way crazy or was I right on? Let me know in the comments. If you know any young people who are just starting to wear kilts and maybe need a little bit of encouragement, tell them to check out these videos over here.